Lagos land belonged to the white Shankuti won the Oba of Bini, who claimed the Bini's founded Lagos land. In my last video about Shankuti, I talked about how he won the Yorubas on who actually owned Lagos. In the comment section, someone said this. Please never say Yoruba, say APC criminal enterprise that has hijacked Lagos, Nigeria. Yorubas are equally suffering like any other ethnic group in Nigeria. Yoruba don't have any special privilege because Tinibu is in power. So quit saying Yoruba, Tinibu is acting alone and they are on their own. I think there's a little truth about what this guy said that is the APC enterprise hijack Lagos, Nigeria. If you watch closely, we all know how everything is turning to worst ever since APC started their leadership. It's not only in Lagos State but in Nigeria as a country. They practically sold all our resources to the white and still claim they own Lagos. So guys, if you have not subscribed, kindly do so, turn on the bell icon to get notified on time whenever a new video is published. And for my returning subscribers and those taking their time to watch my videos on a daily basis, I'm always grateful. Without much talk, let's proceed. According to Sean Kuti, the son of late Afrobeat singer Fela Kuti, half of the land and resources in Lagos land belong to the whites. Whereas, the Eurobars have been running here and there claiming they own Lagos. According to this guy, we own nothing in this country. Just take a look at our oil sector. Who will find it? The answer is the white. Here come another one after Eurobars claim the own Lagos, the Oba of Bini, who said it is in the history book that the Benins founded Lagos. All this history and stories about the rightful owner has been made clear by Sean Kuti because it's very obvious that even Benins and Yoruba don't even own a penny in Lagos as they claim. Watch what Sean Kuti said about the rightful owner of Lagos land. Lagos is white man. Go and go to Ministry of Land in Lagos. See what Yoruba people. How many percentage of Lagos do Yoruba people own? How much of the land? How much of the? Go and look at it. The whole Nigeria. How much? Look at your oil industry. Who is controlling it? It's there. They, they hide it in plain sight. It is hidden in plain sight. They go there. That's the most expensive real estate in the whole Lagos. Who is who owns it? Is it you? Have you seen a hotel real estate? Now, Eco Atlantic is an extension of a hotel owned by the same foreigners. Is it you that own it? You don't own anything in your country. Look at your telecom, the phones you use, MTN in South Africa. I wouldn't be happy if it was white South Africa, black South Africa. MTN is still white South Africa. Is it the Europeans that are dominating our brothers in South Africa that own it, bring their money that they've stolen from our own brothers there to come and steal our own money again in Nigeria? Is it from your country? Nine, nine mobile. Now basically, when they take our pay, now we get to sell out. Give us the slab. Carry our, all our money wrong. Go to your oil business. The upstream where the money of the oil business is. How many of your countrymen operate in the upstream sector? How many of them compete with Shell and Chevron and Mobi and Texaco and Elf? And all these huge European companies and BP all droning Nigeria's oil. All your farming in Nigeria, go and look at it. Who do you think they are farming for? They are farming to export. They are all subsidiaries of European companies. Go to your banks, the banks in Nigeria, all these big bankers, hey, this Genovia, hey, Go and look at the shareholders of their bank. How many percentage of those banks do they own? Go and look at it. I know for a fact that Carlyle Group is the majority shareholder in Access Bank. It came out when Access Bank acquired Diamond Bank that the Carlyle Group was angry and they wrote a letter exposing that they were the majority shareholders. That how dare this company and they, how can they do the merger without taking permission from them first. Basically, that was what the letter was about. That why would they do the merger without their permission first? Imagine. These people both come to tell us that we shouldn't rescue ourselves financially anyway. That's another story entirely. Where is what do you what do you own? Absolutely nothing. In the country, we're all shouting, Hebrew is this, the is that. We own nothing. 
and these elites, these politicians, they are willing this little 20, 20 to 30 percent that they are allowed to control for their, in their own country. They are happy with it because they allow them to send their children to Europe and America to buy the best houses, to buy the best cars.